You want to know how you bless your creator, your father, your savior? You want to know how you bless him? You declare. How you declare, not just with your lip service, with your life service. You don't just talk about it, you be about it. You want to know why Abraham, was, his faith was counted as righteousness? Because he put foot to faith. God said, go, leave this place to a land I will show you. I'm not even going to show you where you're going. I'm just going to lead you out. And Abraham said yes to it. Not just in lip service. He walked it out. And a lot of us, we gotten really good at talking the talk, but not walking the walk, right? And people know it. They see the difference. You one way out on a Monday, and by the weekend, it's something brand new. And then come Sunday, you're a whole different person. You got like three different identities rocking right now. Not even to mention what happens when you close the door at home. We don't even know who you are. And God is like, no, you my son behind that closed door, out in public on Monday, Saturday night when you out hanging with your friends, and Sunday morning when you come into my house. You the same person, son. Act like it. You a royal priesthood. You a chosen generation. I need you to start blessing my heart, son, by acting like it. And it's possible. That's what I'm trying to tell. Like, it's possible. You ain't got to be a hypocrite in this. You can truly walk this walk of Christian life. How? This Holy Spirit. He's not given for just um, good looks. <laughs> He's given as a, as someone who will build you up, as someone who will correct you, as someone who will mature you and teach you. He has given us someone to follow because he knows the heart of the Father and he will speak it to your heart that what, that you might adjust your heart to his. That you will follow like he decrees for you to follow. Go where he calls you to go. Be who he calls you to be. Stand like he calls you to stand. When what? When no one else is looking. When you in them shadows, when those doors are shut, that you will still stand. Even though he is the only one that sees you, you will still be who he has called you to be. A child of his. And that spirit inside will testify to you who you are, that what? That you might stand in that victory. And that's what it is. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You want to know what victory is? It's being who God has made you to be at all times. 